biggest takeaway from the pension and health care reform victory, for those who choose to call it that, others call it something else, the biggest message for you is what? We saved the pensions of 800,000 people. That's the biggest message. Right now around the country, you're hearing how pensions are uh, possibly, you know, there's discussions of pensions going into default. There's stories about Rhode Island having serious pension problems. And we had the third worst pension system in the nation. Uh, people that are on pension in the state of New Jersey or working for, towards a pension know now that the pension will be there when they retire. So I'm really, really excited and happy that we were successful in doing that. You know, that was a victory for 800,000 people. Well, Senator, how come some of those 800 people, 800,000 people, don't, don't see it as you see it? Well, listen, they're, they're not happy with the entire bill. They, you know, obviously no one wants to pay more. But there was a balancing act, you know, between you know, the pension, and I said this, the pension reform was for the workers. The health care reform was for the taxpayers. You know, people are paying these bills. You know, when health care was $10,000 for a family plan, you know, you, d you didn't hear the outcry. But health care is now $20,000 per family. That's expensive on average in the state of New Jersey. And when you have so many people that aren't working and so many people that can't afford to pay these bills, it's, it's not against anyone. It's just, look. These are the realities of what we're dealing with in life, and there has to be a balance. I saw teachers union, the largest teachers union in the state. Uh, let me go back to where we started uh, on the pension reform. The NJEA was very upset about it, fought you. They decided not to endorse you. Uh, I guess that, but the AFL-CIO, which includes both public employees and unions and private sector unions, all not endorse you. And within the AFL-CIO umbrella group is your own. Iron Workers Union. Did that surprise you? Did that hurt you that they did not support you? What hurt me is the fact that I have a decade of the le being in the legislature fighting for working men and women and have done so on a regular basis. And I know they were unhappy with health care reform, but I saved their pensions. Mm -hmm. I was part of a team that saved their pensions. So I think it was short-sighted to throw out everything. And the way I look at it is, if I'm only going to be judged on whatever the issue is in front of me, well, you know, like I said, I was disappointed not getting the endorsement. I got 62%. You needed 67%. Mm -hmm. So the minority controlled the majority, too. Understand that. Huh. The majority endorsed me. It was the, I mean, I would have won an election. It would have been a landslide, 62%. <laughs> yeah. But the, the minority blocked it. And, and unfortunately... You know, there, there are people that were in that room that were not being honest with their members. And, you know, 10 years from now, and this is where I agree with the governor, 10, 15 years from now, people are going to look back and say, hey, they saved our pension, and what they did wasn't that bad with health care.